Lord, no. Come here. Big old carp. Hey guys, welcome back to the Shadow DMO Fishing. This right here is a boilie. And if you ever seen a carp fishing video from the UK, you've probably seen one of these. But have you ever wondered if they actually work here in the US? I never fished boilies before, but today that's gonna change. I went ahead and ordered a bunch of different flavors, a bunch of different boilies, and we're gonna see if they're gonna increase our bites, catch more carp, and actually work here in the US. So let's get to it guys, let's catch a carp. things first, things first to use these boilies we're gonna be using a specific rig it's a hair rig with a feeder lead on it it's a little more complex than just putting corn on a hook although corn on a hook has worked for me in the past and it can work really effectively sometimes but to use the boilies we're gonna be using a specific rig and I'll be showing you how to tie it so you can get more bites and catch more carp okay guys let me show you exactly what you're gonna be needing for this rig you need some sort of method fitted this is the one that I'm using this is the actual lead uh, and it has this little reef right here just to put the pack bait on it uh, We're also gonna need Leaders, so I have these leaders with hair rigs on them. You can see right there They come with the hair rig so you don't have to tie it. You can tie your own But this work really good and I just bought them from Amazon really cheap. This is what they look like right here It comes with a swivel And here's the hook And the hair rig right there okay so you can get a bunch of different sizes. these are number four that seem to work really well you also need a bait needle these are super cheap on amazon and you're gonna need a bait stoppers it's just these little things that you use to keep the bait on the hair rig and i'm show you what i mean if you don't know what i'm talking about i'll show you exactly what i mean right now okay so this is how we're gonna tie it okay so this is the main line right here Grab your metal feeder, take this little part off. Okay, that comes off. And what you wanna do is you wanna feed that through your line first, your main line, just like that, okay? Now, you wanna feed your main line through the little tube here. So there's a bunch of different metal feeders out there. These are the ones I use, seem to work really well. <clears throat> now once you have that in there you grab your leader and you already have a swivel here okay there's a swivel at the end of these and you want to tie your main line to that swivel okay I'm gonna be using a uni knot it's just it's a squeak and honestly one of my favorite knots for fishing especially on braid line it works really well and you can tie it really fast really easy super strong knot Okay, so now we're just gonna clean this up real quick. Right. I need sharper scissors. And you gotta put everything together. So <clears throat> now you just gotta put, sorry guys, <clears throat> you gotta put everything together. So you put your little tippet back on it, just like that, right? And then you pull, and the swivel is gonna go into the metal feeder right there just pull it tight and there you go that's what it looks like now we got a hair rig here and this is where the boilers come in so i got a boiler here so what you're going to do is you're going to grab your needle and you want to stick it right through the middle all right just like that you grab your hook your hook here with the hair rig at the end and you want to grab that hair rig with the tip of the needle and all you have to do is push the bait into it just like that now you have your little hair it's kind of hard to see but you have your little hair loop there so you're gonna grab one of these I got a few already out here okay and you want to put it on that loop and as you put on the loop you want to push the bait into it see that and now this specific one has this little plastic here you're gonna bring that plastic down 
and that's what it looks like guys that's our boilie you know hook that carpet's gonna grab the boilie try to swallow it and then and then get hooked so that's it guys that's the whole setup not really complicated you just gotta get things in advance like the method feeder the <clears throat> you can tie like i said your own hair rigs it's not that difficult to tie you know, and you'll be able to use your boilies here is the cup bait okay all this is is old-fashioned oaks corn panko and strawberry jello okay add a little bit of water this one gonna be using a spack bay on those little legs so let's get a fresh rod in the water here so there you go that's our boldly and we're gonna be packing some of this bait into it just like that now this is what's gonna attract the fish okay and hopefully they find or hook as well just want to pack this really well so you'll be able to cast it so that's what you end up with ah right, guys that's what it looks like right there Okay, we're gonna spread this out. Okay, the key about car fishing is you wanna cast the same spot every single time, guys. Every time you wanna cast at the same spot. So we're gonna be using these little spacers on the bridge here, on the little pier, to know where we're casting. As far as distance, I'm, just, I'm not going far, I'm going right there, okay? So. all that bait is gonna spread out and hopefully oh I see a carp already I see carps I see carp around oh my god I see two big carps right there so okay this is a good sign guys good sign we're seeing the carp now I'm gonna leave my drag really low that way they don't take my rod. Let me go ahead and, we're gonna do all these rods, set them up, different locations. Got one here, I'm gonna put one right there. I'm gonna put two on that side over there. Oh my God, look how many carp. Look guys, I don't know if you can see him. I don't know if you can see him. Okay guys, so as far as the gear goes, there's a lot of fancy carp rods out there that you can use, you can buy, you can spend. It's like any type of fishing. You can buy a cheap one, you can buy a super expensive one that you don't know why it's that much. But anyways, I don't have a dedicated carp rod. Uh, I eventually planning to get one straight from the UK, from Europe. That's where they have those reels with two different drag systems. Uh, I'm not ready to invest on that. I enjoy carp fishing a lot and know a lot of you guys do. Uh, if you are really into it, I would suggest you get one of those uh, because they have two drag systems and you can have uh, the fighting drag and the the other drag for when the bait is on the water and once the fish hits, then you can flip and your other drag kicks in. Uh, what I like to do is just keep my drag really, really, really low and then once I see the fish take the bait, then I can start winding in making sure it's hooked and tighten up the drag as I'm fighting it. It can be a little complicated sometimes, but it works. Um, you wanna make sure your drag is not super tight because carp have really soft mouths and they will definitely rip, you will definitely rip the hook out of their mouth and it's a tiny hook, so you will definitely rip that hook out. So that's something to consider when you're fighting them. But I've seen a lot of carp already since we got here, so it should be pretty good. Hopefully you got your bunch and I'll see you guys when we get one on the hook. We got one. We got one. We got one guys.
Uh, it's not a big one. Definitely got one though. Definitely not a big one. I'm trying to push it out of my other lines. Oh, yeah. Got the first one. Going for that boily. First fish. Oh. It's not small, but it's not giant, honestly. Beautiful carp. As you can see that. Now we have to figure out if I can bring it up. I'm trying to try weigh into the shills. It's a nice carp. Okay. I'm gonna bring it down here. Ah. fish oh Let's see if it's any bigger oh full on action guys full on action I'm gonna try to bring this we got a double double on the carp I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to bring her up though. We have to relax. Ah, okay. 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 No way. Here we go. Let's try to bring her up. Relax. All right. First fish landed. Look at that. That boiling work, all right? Yeah. Probably like five pounds or so. We gotta do the same thing with the other one. I gotta put my gloves on though. So this is gonna be happening. All right guys, first fish, not of the giants that we've been watching swimming around, but it's definitely the first fish right there. We got a double, I got another fish on the other line. I gotta release this one really quick and we'll keep fishing, so. There it goes. This one's a little bigger. Hmm. Oh, he came off. He came off. That was some crazy actions there, guys. We got two fish. The second one definitely came off. I don't know how much footage I got on the GoPro, but it came off. I need to figure out a way how to bring him up. And obviously need to have a landing net. I don't have one. So I'm gonna rig out something that resembles a landing net. I have a net, but it's not, it doesn't reach that far down. So I'm gonna rebait, recast, and hopefully keep fishing. We've been here, what, 30 minutes, and we got two fish so far. Really exciting, really fun. Boilies are actually really working, guys. I'm impressed. Uh, it could help the fact that we got a ton, ton. Oh, we got a fish. We got a fish. We got a fish. We got a fish. We got a ton of carp. We got a ton of carp here. So. That is the third fish in less than 30 minutes, guys, this carp. And they're all around the same size. This one's not much bigger 
than the other one i haven't i may have time to actually get anything else out in the water i haven't even re sent my rods out there hopefully we don't get a fish on the other rod but yeah this car fights so freaking strong look at that it doesn't give up it doesn't give up it keeps fighting 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 it doesn't give up at all look at that see it so there we go we're gonna try to boat flip him i mean i'm gonna let him cool off a little bit it's slightly bigger than the other one i don't know how good he's hooked the other one's really really hooked he looks like he's hooked really good too so we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to boat flip him here i'm trying to wait until he comes down all right i'm gonna try this see if we can get this fish up here got him all right oh look came on hook at the pier still fighting like crazy come on give up you're done you're done okay all right guys second fish we landed third fish we caught i mean i haven't been able to recast my other lines all right all right all right, all right. it's going back all right guys three fish we landed two broke my tripod uh crazy crazy stuff man i don't know how i broke my tripod i was trying to boy the GoPro from hitting really hard by smashing the the screen because it went backwards when the fish slapped it. But anyways, we're gonna rebay. The fish are biting, guys. These carp are low in the boiler, so rebay and recast them out. Hopefully, catch a few more. Hopefully, catch a big giant. But I gotta put my net. I gotta figure out how to make a landing net out of the net that I have. So let's keep fishing. Hey guys, just want to interrupt the video here really quick. Just want to let you guys know that we got a winner for the giveaway that we were doing. And that person is Eric M. I'll be sending his lures ASAP and hopefully he can catch fish with them. But with that said, let's get back to the video. Yeah, we got a fish. Oh, oh this one feels better. This one feels a little bit thick and dry. It's thick and dry. Look at that. Feels like a bigger fish. It makes like, they never give up. They make like crazy turns. Crazy turns. They just never give up. Oh yeah. It's a little bigger. And they use that tail to swipe at the line. See? Because they make the turns. Obviously, this carp can get ginormous. This one's a big one though. But hopefully we catch a monster today. Hopefully we catch a monster today. I'm gonna try to boat flip this one as well. I don't know how that's gonna go. This one's a little bigger. I should measure how long these fish are. I think I have a scale too. Look, it doesn't give up. It just don't give up. See, it keeps finding. It's still taking drag, look at that. Yeah, this one's a little bit heavier, honestly. A little bit bigger fish. I should try to grab the net. This is the biggest one of the day. It's not giving up, man. Oh, look at that. Swipe up the line. All right. See if I can get the net set up. It stays on it long enough. I don't know if we're going to be able to land this fish, guys. We got another fish over there. Oh, 
Oh, we missed it. But we got another fish though. That was the biggest fish. See, let me tell you about car having soft mouth. I need to figure something out, man. This was a smaller fish. We should definitely bring this up. Should be able to bring this one up. That was a monster right there. That was a big fish. Oh, it came off too. Okay. All right, I'm getting slappy. All right. All right, we got another fish, guys. I thought I was recording. But... Oh, it's a decent one. It's a good fish. Swim it this way. Feels big. <coughs> Feels really big. So we only landed two fish, but we got, let's see, five hooked. I think this is number six. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big one. I'm not prepared for this landing though. Oh, still fighting. They never give up, man. They never give up. Look at that. Oh, it's still going through the rocks. Look, she's looking for the rocks. Oh, look at so much bait fish there. Okay, we don't have... Look at the bait fish running away from it. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. It's a decent fish, man. They definitely put up a fight. Uh. All right. You're done. Come on, just give up. You're done. I don't know if you're gonna get it up again, guys. Don't know. It really depends on what the fish does. It's a big one. It's a big fish, so don't wanna cut my hand. cut my hand all right there we go third fish we landed biggest fish of the day it was hanging on by a thread look at this fish man they went to serve a picture of this fish all right guys there we go third fish we landed it's the biggest one of the day nice beautiful carp this is a common carp barely brought it up i don't have a net like i said i definitely need to get a landing net but we're gonna let him go Keep fishing. There you go. We got a big one. We got a big one. We got a big fish. I've seen it yet. Yeah, making a run. Making another run. Alright. There she is. Man. So a lot of people front upon car fishing here in the US. But honestly, this fish fights so hard. Pound for pound, they fight so hard. Like honestly, a hybrid this size would probably give me the same fight, but nothing else. Nothing else. So they're gonna, they're gonna try to bring it up. It's a big one though. I'm not sure how well it's hooked. I can't really see the hook, but we're gonna try to bring it up and see. 
and see this fish over here. Uh, oh! <laughs> Look at that. Damn it. And he made a mess. Look at that. It spit a hook right at the end. I'm glad I was wearing the gloves. Because that would be on my skin. Okay. We got another one. Honestly, it's a bite every five minutes. The boilies actually work pretty well. They work really, really well. Oh my God, we got, we got a double. No, 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 no. No. We gotta take off. I think we lost it. I think we lost we lost the other bite so we're gonna take a time with this one gotta take a time with this one i'm gonna try to bring this one up it's not a giant it's a big one but not a giant so look at the fighting look at the fighting and the other cars are like hey what's going on why are you acting crazy and she's like well i got a hook on my mouth and i don't know how to get it out never felt this way before actually this fish is big man this fish is actually bigger i mean they don't look as big on the gopro but the, it's big fish all right, here we go. Oh, we might be able to get this one. I'm glad I got the gloves on because the line just slipped on me. All right. Okay. Look at this fish. I'm, I'm a size 11 shoe, guys. There he goes. Big fish. Oh, relax. You're being caught. If you guys are wondering, this is not really hot. It's a pretty chilly day, it's early. So, I'm gonna try to get it on hook and send it on its way. It was, it was hooked pretty well. Sorry if the lighting is not as well. Oh, look that, it came off really easy. But, let me show you this fish, guys. Look at this fish. He's going back. Okay. Give a kiss to the camera. Hey, see you next time. Woo. Let's go. Oh, that's a big one. That's a nice one. They all feel big because they're pretty much all big though. You know? I might be keeping one of the smallest ones here to use as catfish bait. I never actually done that before, but... Oh man, they fight so hard. I cannot keep four rods in the water because a fish bites. It's happening that fast, guys. These boilies, okay, I'm, I'm a believer now, and I'll be using them from now on. They actually work pretty well. Oh, he's telling the line, I can feel it. I can feel the fish using the tail and turning to swipe at the line. See, he just did it again. Oh Lord, no, come here, big old carp.
Come here, baby. You're done, man. You are done. No way. We're getting another fish. We're doubling it up again. Oh, Lord. We're, we're doubling it up again. No. I got one on this. Now we got another one over here. He's going to tangle my line. Oh my god, look at what chaos! This is chaos! Uh, another freaking double! Another freaking double! Oh, he came off, came off for the last second there. So that's one thing about carp, landing them can be as hard and as difficult as actually getting them hooked. We still got this fish down there. He's, he's big, man. No, if you do that, you're gonna fall off. No, 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 no. Oh, we got it. We got it. All right. That's a big fish. Big fish, man. Can't believe we actually had a hook enough to be able to do that. Okay, relax, relax. Relax, we're gonna try to get the hook out. Oh, he was hooked really well. There he goes, hook is out. Look at that, we had a double again. We only landed this one. Here it goes. All right, we got one. We got one, guys. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, no, it's gonna take them all to line up. So I can bring it across. So we're going for the rocks. Going for the rocks, trying to cut my line. Very smart. Okay. Okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? There we go. Okay. All right, let's see if we can bring it back up. I don't know how well it is hooked, but we're gonna try to bring it up. So if you ever had to do this, make sure you wear gloves, guys, because Braided line will cut you. Will cut you, alright? See? Came off right there. I don't want him to get beat up again. Alright. Here it goes. Alright, we got another one. This one feels a little bigger. Oh lord, it's going over there. Ugh. This one feels bigger for real, for real. I can't get any line on it. Uh, just turn it around. I don't know if my it got. Oh, I think it got my other line. Oh no, no, we got a double. We got a double, I think. 
Yeah, we do have a double. We're gonna let that, that one play out. I need to get this one tied up first. Oh man, it's running. It's running. I'm gonna set this one now. Jesus Christ. This fish fight so hard, man. It's so much fun. So much fun, man. So much fun. I could ask them to get my get the net so I can bring them up, but I don't know. Some people are here with a net. Ah, that's a big one. That's a big one, man. That's a big fish. See that? So much fun to catch. I don't know why a lot of people don't like to fish for this. Carps, but they just fight so hard. Look at this. It's pulling drag. Real fun. Real fun. Get on Alright guys, so we're gonna try to bring this carp up. Yeah, we lost it. There it goes. Alright, we got another one. We got another one guys. We actually ran out of pack bay. So we almost gonna call it in a little bit. I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna get some lunch here. It doesn't feel too big, honestly. So it's not fighting that much. And yeah, now he knows he's hooked. So you gotta be ready for that last run. They always save one run for you at the end. Since they got really soft mouths, they can come undone really easy. So obviously if you're fishing from shore, it'd be easy to land them. I have a unique situation here, but I can't really land them. We're gonna try to land this one though. Yeah, he's done. Okay, Let's see if we can. See if I don't get that hook flying on my face. It's coming up. Whoop. Mine slip. There we go, guys. Big one. Big carp. This is probably gonna be the last one we're gonna catch out here. Uh, I'm getting pretty hungry. It's about to be noon. And we caught a lot of fish today. Bullets do work. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.